I'm gonna show you why you don't want to mess with Wakalaka anymore. Let's get into it. Okay, hopping into the first battle, and finally, we found a really good team to spam Gamma Pulse against. Although, like, they've got a plant type, but weak to Gamma Pulse, weak to Gamma Pulse, weak and weak, so we're looking pretty good all along that, and Valkyrie can't really hit us that well. So, it's really just the Nevermare and the Ventation I gotta really worry about. So, with that, I think we should be good. Hope hopefully. <laughs> really hopefully. Okay, I think this is the team I'm going to go with. So, as you can tell by my team, I am actually running a Bane of Haste team. The Hive Set is a completely new one I rallied, just for the sake of um, trying to help with the um, baits, basically. Just to help me earn Bane of Haste, and it baits, and it's really tanky, and quad resist dark. Although, Hive Set's Inventation is not a good uh, lead for me, unfortunately. I'll go into the... I'll go into Hoganosh because it can tank the Ventation and the Havasek like, fairly well. And then on this one, I guess I could actually go for the Chili Chomp, but I'm going to try and get the Bane of Haste up first. Ventation is going to be so annoying. Oh, they actually withdraw. Dang it. Into the Infernix. Dang it. Is it. Is the Ventation going to Battering Ram? I'm assuming it's going to Battering Ram, right? I actually goes for the Frost Beam. Oh, it still went for the. Okay, that's still good. That's actually, I guess, best outcome. So, for the team. Maytoad is the only Lumi that I have that isn't support for Wakalaka. Wakalaka is great because it has so many common weaknesses. Quad weak to bug, quad weak to dark. It's really hard to like use it in like singles or 2v2s or doubles. I feel like it excels in doubles and 2v2s though, but it still needs help from its teammates. So I've got Eskul as my benefit setter, although it's the only benefit setter I have, which isn't exactly that amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's actually go for the bait on the Hoganosh, and I'll actually just go ahead and swap straight into my Wakalaka here, because we can take out the Ventation and just spam bait on my Hoganosh. So yeah, all on that low, Beto's just there for raw damage, it's the only one that isn't supportive. Hoganosh and Havasek are my bait users, since Hoganosh and um, Havasek can resist quite a few things that I'm actually weak to on Wakalaka, which is amazing. All on that, Garajon is the jumpstart one to help me get some more damage potentially. And then, all than that, Icicle, Icicle is my Icicle Trap Setter, Health Gift user if I need it, and uh, Bane of Haste Setter, although pff, I kind of wanted a Jolteuf, but I didn't really want to rally a new Jolteuf just for a second Bane of Haste Setter. And then Odasho has a uh, Ferroblast, and it's really slow in Bane of Haste because it's defensive priorities, so I can actually just spam Ferroblast to keep my whack like a healthy. Anyway, I'm going to bait again. Let's try and get rid of that Ventation, okay? I could actually go for Gamma Pulse. Yeah, let's actually go for Gamma Pulse. We can do massive damage. Oh, actually, have a sex. Oh, perfect, perfect, so the best outcome. I was actually gonna go for Nature's Force, glad I didn't. So, Hoganosh can actually, oh, I, did I miss the Infernix? Oh no, I hit it, it was just a little bit delayed. Okay, nice, Air Blade, that's fine. We actually tanked that pretty well as, as well. So this turn, I could actually go for the Rejuvenate and just Gamma Pulse again. Yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to Rejuvenate on the Hoganosh and Gamma Pulse on my Wakalaka and get rid of both of these. This is the best battle we've done so far. I've done so many battles. Even with all the support I'm doing, Wakalaka still just struggled because it's just so weak to so many things. But that's why I gave it four attacking moves just so I can try and do like as much output damage as possible and I can hit so many different things because Nature's Force and Psycho Blast are great stab moves. Muck Blast is amazing to just hit. That's also not exactly a good swap in because Gamma Pulse, but I'll take it. But um, along that, Muck Blast can hit a lot of plant types I otherwise can't really hit. And then Gamma Pulse is Wakalaka's newest addition to its arsenal, but it is so good because it can hit Spirit and Dark types that otherwise it couldn't really hit too hard and also Ancients, but also it's weak to Spirit and quad weak to uh, Dark. So now, you can actually hit them back super effective, but also, because I think Wakalaka excels in doubles and 2v2s, all of its solo moves are just single target moves. Gamma Pulse, I think, is its first move that can hit both targets at the same time, so it gives Wakalaka even more options now to actually get the damage off. Not getting stab damage, but I have given it a power cuss, so it boosts all of my moves, so that's why I'm running power cuss for moves. So I don't have to like try and set beta first up myself. So I think it is gonna be a lot better now with Gamma Pulse, but it's still gonna struggle like a lot. We go for bait again, low. 
And Gamma Pulse again. I think we just spam Gamma Pulse. We haven't seen him bring out... I think he had a Never Mirror. I've seen so many Never Mirrors. I think he had the Never Mirror, but Half Sector's gown. Mentation is going to get weakened a lot. Although I think my Bane of Haste is about to run out, unfortunately. Geyser's fine. Even if my Bane of Haste does run out, it's not the end of the world. Hogrush can still collect bits. So, I don't really need the Bane of Haste. It's, it's just nice to have low. Just like, as a, uh, like, oh, my Hogrush needs to go for a Rejuvenate this turn, and both of them are weak. I can Gamma Pulse and Rejuvenate at the same time. This is actually fine. We'll go for the baits here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for baits again, so we can just redirect the damage, because Wacklaka does not want to take a hit. And we can actually go for the Muck... Oh, actually isn't super effective. So Cycle Blast is actually the hardest hitting move I can go for then, so... Although Nevermare is pretty bulk on the range side, how do I get rid of Nevermare? I gotta try and get my benefits back up re realistically, so... I guess I'll just go for... I kind of just want to go for the rests, because I only have two moves left, but we'll take out the Ventation here. Go for, yeah, bait and um, take out the Ventation. Nice, critical hit, don't care. Sweet touch, okay, now it's locked into Phantom Slash, so that's actually good to know. Although, <laughs> I don't have anything on my team that can really take those that well. HS Force to get rid of you, looking pretty good. Okay, Ventation's down. Uh, yeah, nothing on my team really wants to take a Nevermare Phantom Slash. And if he goes into Infernix here, that's going to really suck because my Ice Skull's not really going to get benefits back up. So yeah, Wacklack -Wack has done amazing here so far, but it's going to be a little bit hard now towards the end of the battle because my benefits is gone. So Hogganosh, I'm actually just going to use it here to go for a dodge, I guess. Yeah, I'm actually going to dodge with the Hog Hogganosh. And then the Infernix is most likely going to go for a fire move. So we can actually... Sacrifice the Meditoad. I'm saving the half set because it has bait. So yeah, I'll sacrifice this because we're going to get hit by a fire move. Um, I guess I could actually go for bait. Okay, Phantom Slash actually goes for the Meditoad. That's actually fine. Doesn't critical hit me. Air Blades, I dodge low. So then, this turn, I can actually bait on the Hogganosh, which will redirect the Nethermare to my Hogganosh. It will KO it. But then my Meditoad most likely won't faint to the Infernix, and I can do massive damage to the Nevermare. I think this is what I want to do. Phantom Slash, redirected, got him. Now my Meditoad should live. Is it Airblades? Yeah, it easily lives in Airblades. Infernix is another one health, and I get a cycle slap onto the Nevermare, which should do over way. Oh, perfect! Best outcome. We we took out the um we took we took out the Nevermare. That's the best outcome. The best outcome I could have actually got. Okay, Len. Let's go into um, Icicle here, I guess. It's Oxidric. They definitely want to get rid of the Meditoad. I guess they got to choose. Do they want to go for my Meditoad? Or do they want to try and get rid of my Bane of Hair Setter? I'm setting up Bane of Hair Slob again. Just got to hope I tank it. I just got to tank it. Um... Oxidrake is scary, but so is Infernix, but he only has one move left, so we'll take out the Oxidrake if I can. True Blast, that's on. Oh, actually, it's on that, okay. What's Oxidrake going for? Oh, then I get Bane of Haste up. And my Mato live! Nice! Yeah, I got Bane of Haste up, so uh, I can Health Gift, I guess, if I want to. Actually, yeah, I could actually save the Medito now. I'm going to have a sect and my Wakalaka. Yep, okay, well, there, there we are, and we do this. We do this. Yep, this this works out perfectly because the Infernix can't attack me this turn. Uh, I get free swaps. I can save my Eskul for a health gift if I really need to. And I can try and go into my Meditoad, I guess. Because my half sect has bait still. So there is like Sky Down to Rest. I guess we could have just technically won there, okay. But my Wacklask is getting in a little KO, okay. And because it's only one target now, we can actually just go for Gamma Pulse and it should get increased. Rival, because in, if you're using a move that splits in, splits off into two different targets, it gets weakened a little bit. Whereas if there's only one target now, it gets normal damage wise. So yeah, easy tank, house that is so tanky, let's go. So yeah, this, this works out amazingly, okay. And I guess this turn we can just go for two attacks. Oh actually, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually out of energy, I forgot. I need to go for rests. 
Okay, Lun, well, I guess I'm uh, resting here, Lun. I guess I could flail, but there's no point really risking that. We'll go for wait, and we need, like, one more move. Okay. Let's see, what do we attack? Parasitize. Oh, actually, I forgot Bane Face is up. Nice. And we're done. Nice. Well, unfortunately, Wacklacker didn't get the KO, but I'll still take it. Wacklacker did really amazing that battle. I'll try and hop into another one, but because it's, like, still pretty hard using Wacklacker, because it's, like, you have to help support it so much for it to actually do anything. But now that it actually has moves that can hit both targets, I think that's probably the biggest issue with Wacklacker, on honestly thinking about it, but I'll try and hop into another one. I guess we'll see if we can actually find a battle worth it to actually showcase again. Okay, then, hopping into null battle. This one's a lot scarier than the last one, but we can still make it work, although there is um, a bug type and a um, mega chomp user, and also like a couple of fire types, so gotta be place one a lot more carefully, to be honest. Okay, then, I'm just gonna bring the same team. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to get a uh, Garage Jones in and actually boost my Wacklacker without the Wacklacker getting killed on the same turn, so I'm gonna lead off with this. Well, that's actually perfect. I could actually try and get rid of that Garbantus immediately. I don't think I actually have to um, protect myself against anything. We can just double target the uh, Hoganosh, so... I mean, the Garbantus, so that's exactly what I'm actually gonna do. We'll double target if I get... Actually, that's also fine. I just get some damage on something else, and it's the Infernix, never mind. That pod resists fire and resists ice, so... I'm not gonna do a lot of damage, but I'll take it. I should've gone for Benefist, or I guess that would've been better. But easy melee defense increase against two range attackers. Nice to see. Kaelin, Batcher, it's gonna be the Hoganosh. Is that heavy shackles? That doesn't matter. I'm, I'm using bait. It's a priority move. So like I was saying on the, towards like the end of the last battle, Wacklacker, I think, would be really good in doubles. And I think I finally realized that because it now has Gamma Pulse and it can hit both targets, I think that's probably what it's missing. If it had more moves, like stab moves, for example, that can hit both targets, Wacklack can come the next cell, like, dishing out a lot of damage, but not l being limited to only hitting one target at a time. I think that's probably been the biggest drawback now that I actually think about it for double battles specifically. Single battles, there's not really too much I can really do about it, to be honest. It's typing just that bad. Like, it, it stats, it's, everything about Wacklack is perfect. Amazing move pull, good stats, the only uh, good abilities, the only one mega downfall for it, uh, Wacklack is it's typing and that ruins everything for it unfortunately. It just it actually is that bad it ruins everything. We'll get the benefits up low now. Nice uh, heavy shackles man but I don't care still. Easy resists. Still does quite a lot that's probably yes yeah, definitely pyro. Pyro poison don't care. I got my benefits up that's all I care about okay. Kaelin there's that. I could actually swap out the Hogganos try and save it for later maybe. I could actually try going to my Harvest but I don't know if it's really worth it. We don't really need to save the Ice score now low, so I guess we could actually just double target the Infernix again. But I'm actually going to go for Bait again here, and I'm actually just going to go into my Wacklacker now. Because if my Hoganosh goes down this turn, I can go straight into my um, Harvest and then spam Bait again. So there's the Adaptive Assaults, that's fine, Shrewd Blasts. That's fine. Poison won't take me out, but that only means I can tank one more move. So I'm gonna go for the... Actually, I don't really need to bait, because... Bane of Hists. So I could actually rejuvenate or just hit something, but... I'm gonna go for bait again, I think. Okay, and I'm actually gonna go for Psycho Blast on the Venelon. I think is the best play. Do we one-shot it low? That's the issue. If I one-shot it, amazing. Unfortunately, I don't. Two-shot low. I'll take it. Adaptive Assault. So that means I'm probably gonna take a... Fire breath. Phoenix, actually, Phoenix Flame, okay. He's out of energy. Then one is the only one with energy, okay? So, that actually worked out pretty well. I'm glad he didn't click f uh, Fire Breath, because I would be dead right now. So we can actually go into a Meditoad here. I don't need my Bait user, because Bane of Haste is still up, and my team is super slow. So I'm gonna go for the Cycle Slap on the Venolan. That should KO that, easy peasy. And then I'll go for Gamma Pulse on my Wakalaka. Because I have, what, two turns left of Benefists? Withdraw, that's fine. Into Protagon. Or actually, Hunter. Yeah, I thought it was Protagon for some reason. Yeah, that's also fine, because Hunter doesn't really want to take this that well. Also, I get free damage on anywhere. Easy Gamma Pulse. Easy Cycle Slap. Right. Nice. Not enough to KO, but it's fine. I got one more turn of Benefist, so... 
I don't actually need cycle stuff on my Meditoad, so I'm actually gonna make the play to go back into my Ice Goal here, I think. And then I Gamma Pulse again. We Gamma Pulse again, get rid of both of them, get my Ice Goal in the field, so the next one we can go for the Bane of Haste again, and set it back up in somewhere. Gamma Pulse should take both of them out. Nice, okay, that worked out pretty well. So yeah, having like that one extra move on Wakalak is really good, which is why I invested. You'll see in like the set details if you want to like watch them, but I invest like 104 energy, I think, or 108 energy. TP is into my energy, just so I can get like one more move off. I think it's worth it though, since if you clicking rest, you just your teammates like just suffering more. So that having that one extra move is nice. Plus, you don't really need the TP is for anything else. Okay, Lun. I think it said Bane of Haste is over with now. I don't exactly remember though, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna set Bane of Haste up. And then I'm gonna go into my Meditoads. Because if Lee, he's most likely gonna go Battering Gram. Actually, I guess I could have gone into my out of the sec, but that's fine. Battering Gram. Is it enough to one shot? Also, Bane of Haste did end. It's enough to one shot. Nice. That means I can get to my Wakalaka straight away with a Bane of Haste up. If I live, please. I do live, benefit. Nice. I can go into my Wakalaka. Um, and then I double target the Garbantis, maybe? Is that worth it? Yeah, we actually both have three Lumians. Although my high school is practically dead. Okay, I guess I could actually chili chomp the Garbantis. Yeah, I might as well chili chomp it. And then I'll go for a Nature's Force as well on it, just double target, I want it gone, basically. Nature's Force, is that enough to one shot? It should be, I am pretty sure. But yeah, I don't really need to hit the Strassel right now. It isn't enough, okay. Glad I went for Chili Chomp plan. Okay, that's, that's perfect. Okay, what's his last one? Strassel can't really hit Wacklacka super, super hard, but now I've got my uh, Havisect, although Pathing Gift does nothing, because there's nothing there now, so I guess I... I still wanted to hit it low, but I'll take it still. And now we're going to our Harvest because we have our bait user, and it's Venelon. I can Psycho Blast, get rid of the Venelon. And honestly, I don't really need to, um... I don't really need to bait for the Strauss, or do I? I can just pester and make it weaker. So yeah, that's, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Because then we can Psycho Blast the Venelon, get it, just get it gone. Psycho Blasts. Hester is going to go first now, right? There we are, that should take out the Venelon. So glad. Come on, where's the damage? Okay, I thought it didn't do any damage for it for a second. Okay, nice. And Nostrasso does less damage. Nice, whack a -like popping off. Easy popping off. Okay, I'll bait. Actually, I don't really need to bait, do I? I can, just, I can just pester it to be honest, make it even weaker. And then we can go for the rest. Okay, Lynn. Let's see how well this goes. He's gonna hit me a little bit harder this turn if he goes for me. But at least it's Metal Blast and not um, Reflection Burst. That would be even worse. Ranger Attack fell. Metal Shriek. Yeah, that sucks, but that's fine. Uh, does Bane of Haste run out yet, or no? Oh, I actually has both of us. I forgot. That's actually really bad. Okay, Bane of Haste is still up. We'll go for... um. I'll go for Bait, I guess. I would rather hit it with my... Wackalacker, I think. I got, what, three turns left, I think? Yeah, I think I got three turns after that rest, so that works out pretty well. Okay, Nature's Force, easy peasy. It's not even a two shot, unfortunately. Oh, he actually Metal Shrieked again. That's actually fine. I can just double attack it in this turn. It only has enough energy for another Metal Shriek. I'll take it. Benefits did end low, unfortunately. Soul Storm and Nature's Force again. He can't kill both of us, even if he had enough energy, so... Although, if he did enough energy and he did kill one of us, that would kind of suck. But critical hits, and nature's force. And I think that should be it. So there we are. I think that should be enough to KO, and it is. And exactly, there we are. Black Clock with Gamma Pulse is so good. It can hit so many more things now. It's not, like, limited to, like, running two stab and, like, Muck Blast. So it actually has Gamma Pulse for nice coverage. Like I said, Wakalak has insane coverage, especially now with um, Gamma Pulse. I guess you could try Lost Loot if you want to try and get some health back. I don't think it's really worth it. I'm not even, you could, I mean, it has Photosynthesis. I didn't even give it to it, low. At least I think it has Photosynthesis. If, even if it if it does, I didn't even give it to it. I wanted my Wakalak to just do as much damage as possible. And Gamma Pulse is a nice addition, okay? Just like I said, 
being able to hit both of both targets in one turn with Wakalaka is amazing. I mean, it's range attack is, range attack size is pretty good anyway. Anyway, that being said, you basically already saw the set, but I'm going to quickly go over the set and tell you in detail what everything is for. Getting into the set line, I am running 0 TPs and UPs in speed with a sluggish personality, so my Wakalaka can be as physically slow as possible for Bane of Haste. 192 health TPs maximizes Wakalaka's health, but also keeps it odd because we are weak to Ice Traps. 200 range attack TPs with a smart personality and a power cost item is just to help my Wakalaka dish out as much damage as possible. And 108 energy TPs at level 50 gives me 236 energy to work with, and with the expertise ability and the power cost item, making all of my moves cost 47 energy, which is amazing. It actually lets me go for five of any of them before I need to wait or rest. And then for the moves, I'm running Nature's Force and Psycho Blast for stab damage, just for easy massive output damage, okay. Muck Blast is just to basically hit a lot of plant types that I can't otherwise hit super effective, and has a chance, I guess, to poison. And the last new addition to Wacklacker's move pool is Gamma Pulse. There's also Lost of Loot, but Gamma Pulse is way more important, especially in doubles, okay, which also lets Wacklacker now hit Ancient Types, Spirit Types, and Derek Types, but also the biggest, I guess, thing for this is Wacklacker now in doubles and 2v2s gets to hit both targets in one move, which is a first for Wacklacker, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that being said, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.